Shut Buffalo 66. Day the fuck three. Up. Billy's Shut bad. Up. So, Buffalo 66. This is a... I want to say it's an indie film. I feel like it's not an indie film, but it feels like an indie film. It's also a filmmaker's film. Meaning you wouldn't really like it unless you're a filmmaker or like really into films. I've I heard people watch it in film school a lot. Yeah, I feel bad for them. This is not a good movie. So basically my uh my general thoughts, an overview of the plot basically. So Billy kidnaps a woman. Billy then takes this woman to his parents' house. The woman tells his parents about how much that he loves her. Billy then takes this woman to a bowling alley. Billy then yells at this woman. The woman falls in love with Billy. Billy buys a heart-shaped cookie. He wusses out about killing a guy. The end. I don't even know. I don't I don't know how to explain this movie. I honestly don't like it. I guess let's start with the good things. So this movie has some interesting editing. One example, Billy's at dinner with his parents. A square pops up on the screen of footage from Billy in the past. So then Billy is talking to some dude and the square gets bigger and bigger as it fills up and that's what we're watching and then it cuts back to the square as Billy's sitting there thinking about what he's done. I'd say it's unconventional editing. I actually kind of enjoy it but kind of hate it at the same time. It's an interesting way to tell a story. Another good thing about this movie is it has some cool camera angles. There's a cool camera angle where Billy, he's in the corner of the frame like this. He's he's down here. But a uh, lot of lot of long shots, which is fun. We always like long shots here, you know. We're we're long shot type of boys, you know what I'm saying? This is not a movie to watch while tired. I learned that one the hard way. And uh, if you like animals, don't watch this either. A dog dies in it. That's about it. Those are the cool things, I guess. Let's get on with what happens in this movie. So Billy gets out of prison. Billy really needs to pee. So Billy eventually gets on a bus and goes into town. Billy, then needing to pee still, goes store to store trying to find a good place to pee. He doesn't find a good place to pee. Billy then finds a dance studio. Billy enters the dance studio. He enters the bathroom, and a gay man is staring at his penis while he's peeing. Billy then freaks out on this gay man because he hates gay people, and he says, I can't pee here. Then Billy leaves the dance studio, and he calls his parents. While on the phone with his parents, Billy lies about his relationship with a woman. You see, Billy lied to his parents that he was in prison the entire time. They thought he was working for the CIA or something. So a woman overhears this conversation. Billy notices her as he's done talking to his parents. He says he's going to bring a girl over to his parents' house. Billy then kidnaps this woman, which is this lady right here. And then Billy just takes this woman to his, her car, yells at her, calls her a stupid whore. He's going to kill her. Billy then gets her car. Uh, Billy makes her drive her car to a place where he can go pee. And then she stays in the car while Billy's peeing outside. She has the keys, by the way. Billy then takes this woman back to his parents' house. And Billy basically introduces her, his, this woman as his wife to his parents. You can tell his dad's into beef to the motherfucker. His mom's watching football the entire time. Uh, Billy doesn't really care. They all sit down. This woman tells uh, Billy's family about how much she loves Billy and how much she cares for him and how good of a husband is she, he is. Whatever. Billy then, as they leave, Billy then yells at her saying, how dare you, <laughs> you lying bitch. How dare you tell my parents how much I love you. Billy then takes this woman to a bowling alley and Billy then yells at her for sitting in a seat. And then she starts saying about how much she actually loves Billy, which I'm sorry, but uh, I don't think I've ever fallen in love with someone that's kidnapped me six hours before personally, but that maybe it's different in, uh, you know, Buffalo, Chicago. I don't know where the fuck he's from. I think it's Buffalo. Maybe it's different when Buffalo. Maybe that's how you pick up women in Buffalo. Hey, all you, all you Buffalo people out there, I have a, uh, a new way to get girls. So Billy's at the bowling alley. They take some pictures together to basically fake that he, she's his wife. Billy then takes her to Denny's. They, uh, Billy yells at her some more. Billy then takes her to a hotel where Billy then cries in a bathtub because he's secretly gay and he doesn't want the woman to see him, I guess. Is, uh, is what I'm getting at here. She eventually gets in the tub. She sees him. He's crying some more. Billy then leaves. Billy's getting hot chocolate. He's going out for milk and cigarettes, if you know what I'm saying. The woman says, please don't leave me, Billy. Please don't. I love you so much, Billy. Please, God, Billy, please don't leave me. This woman's fucking stupid. All right? I, I don't understand how someone can 
fall in love with somebody by getting kidnapped. That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever, man. Because he's so sensitive. That's why he kidnapped you six hours ago. So then we see some scenes of fake pity with Billy, where he's crying to himself in a bathroom and yada, yada, yada. Billy then goes to a strip joint to kill a guy that uh, he bet money on that basically put him in prison. And uh, that's when the coolest scene in the movie happens is a slow-mo shot of Billy gunning down this fat motherfucker. Bang, bang, bang. And then it all cuts because none of it was real. Billy then goes to a donut shop, orders a heart cookie, and the movie ends. Yep, that's the movie. I described the entire movie for you. There's not much here, to be honest. So my uh, my other thoughts are, uh, this movie's fucking annoying. Billy has a bladder infection. Billy's a piece of shit. He has anger issues. Billy also looks like a male prostitute. I don't know if I've mentioned that one or not. He's also never nude. Um, so Billy's kind of a weird, messed up guy. There's, there's honestly not, I wouldn't recommend this movie. Maybe if you're really bored and you're following along with the other ones. Besides that, Man, it's passable. I, I would skip it. So I rate uh, Billy one Billy out of one Billy. And uh, I guess stay tuned for the next one because it's Apocalypse Now, the final cut. Ask Asteri.